What's up, guys? It's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba Marina. I got Mr. Connor here. Connor's doing his stress and rescue course through SSI with us. I want to make a quick video showing you just how important pre dive safety checks are. Every time that we do a stress and rescue course, we focus on preventing problems from ever happening. If we can prevent them from happening, we shouldn't have an issue in the water. Now, we also teach the students once you get in the water, problems can still occur. And so we're gonna teach him how to deal with that. But it's more importantly for us to stress to that student, here at the surface, we wanna prevent problems from happening. So a proper pre-dive safety check is very vital. So Mr. Connor here, he's got a set of dive gear and he's gonna to have to go through this equipment with a fine tooth comb and tell us everything wrong with it. So let's see how good he does. And again, This isn't supposed to be that loose, is it? The yolk nut? Yeah. So it's too loose? I'd probably write that one down then. So your inflator hose was disconnected? All right. Yep. Pop the no-ring. That's probably from that yolk nut being too yeah. loose, right? All right? Go ahead and turn it off. Back on. Okay. Go ahead, yeah, go ahead and bleed it down. There you go. We know we gotta fix that yolk nut before we can check air and all that, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, any other problems? Well, I did kind of this. It says it's around 60. Oh, that's temperature. Yep, that's temperature gauge. Oh, whoops. No, I see. Okay. And then you'd have to have the air being able to turn on to check the inflator hose. Right, so we're going to have to fix that yoke nut, right? right? So you found two of the three problems. There's one left. Go ahead and spin the unit around to where the tank's facing you. I want you to check the cam strap and the cam buckle on it. Is it good and tight to where the tank ain't gonna slip? No. All right, so let's tighten it up. Let's see if we can tighten it up. Still loose? Okay, what could be the issue there? 
if we're unable to tighten it. The cam strap could be too big. No, it could not. Not too big. Oh. I think it's cut there. What if it was threaded the wrong way? Could that be a possibility? So if it's not thread, yeah, if it's not threaded the right way, then the cam buckle is not going to operate properly. Correct? Very good. So we'll teach you how to fix that as well. Okay. All right. So we'll go over that just shortly. So what were the three problems that you found? The yoke nut was loose. Mm-hmm. The inflator hose was not connected and the... Cam buckle was... Cam buckle was... Perfect. Very good. And tell me what could happen underwater if any of those problems occurred. They wouldn't be able to inflate their VC. Right. VCD. They would be leaking air and run out in a matter of a couple minutes. Right. And with the ham strap there, tank gets left out. Exactly, which could cause a whole bunch of problems, correct? Mm -hmm. Good job. All right, we'll, we'll fix those problems and we'll do another final check. Sounds good? Mm -hmm. Awesome. So there you go, guys. He found the problems that we presented to him. And like I said, anytime you have a problem in scuba diving, the best way to solve it, of course, is preventing it from ever happening. And Connor, how do you think you did? Think you did good? Yeah. Think you did great, man. You found all the problems. But guys, if you like this video, smash that like button for me. If you want to know more about rescue diving, check out your local SSI facility and sign up for their stress and rescue course. They also have a junior program, which is what Connor's taking here. So it is for kids as well. But guys, if you got any more questions, please put it down in the comment section below as always make sure you follow us on instagram and twitter like us on facebook pin us on pinterest subscribe to us here on youtube and as always guys we appreciate your business guys we really appreciate you watching our videos if you liked it make sure to give us a big thumbs up if you're not a subscriber simply hit that subscriber button for us and make sure you hit the little bell to turn on all notifications if you want to see some other cool videos make sure to click these links here they could be scuba tips they could be diving videos search and recovery videos or gear reviews once again guys we really appreciate it